would require you, but to do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. To walk in Christ, rooted and built up in Him. Established in the faith as you've been taught, abounding in with thanksgiving. To abide in Christ. To abide, remain, live in Christ, stay in Christ, continue in Christ. That's the purpose of your existence. Oh, praise the Lord. Sir, can I give you one of these? Oh. Sir, what's up? My name is Mike. How you doing? Can I give you one of those? How you doing, sir? Good. Did you know that Americans used to consider black people persons and not or property and not persons? Yes, no. I do know no. that. 1857, the U.S. Supreme Court said, in the eyes of the law, the slave is not a person. And in 1973, the U.S. Supreme Court said the word person does not include the pre-born. Who do we dehumanize today and to justify their destruction? Now we got our civil rights and stuff now. But there's a, there is a people group today that do not have their civil rights. As you know, the leading cause of African Americans in the United States? Abortion. Their own mothers are killing them. 3,500 every single day. 1.3 million every year. Modern day altars to Baal and Molech. 3,500 people do what? 3,500 children every single year are slaughtered by their mothers in cold blood. Yes, ma'am. I'm against the abortion. This is a pamphlet I give out. I, I do warn you, it has it does have a picture of a of a of a of a aborted fetus in the middle. Okay? And I just want to let you know. I've seen it before. But the truth can set you free and it is a horrific thing to see. But I guarantee you that we must see the truth. We must see it for what it is. It is the destruction of a human being. It is horrific, and I cannot believe that our country does this, but it's because God has given us over to a debased mind to do what ought not to be done. Proverbs 24, 11 through 12 tells us to rescue those being drawn to death and hold back those stumbling to the slaughter. Ephesians 5, 11 tells us, take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. Christ told us the greatest two commandments are this, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. The preborn is our neighbor, and we must love them as ourselves. We must rescue those children. Not with acts of violence, but we must speak out. We must bring. When you drink while you're pregnant, it should be considered child abuse. It should be considered child abuse. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But if you are a professing believer of Christ, you have an obligation to, to, to expose evil, to be light, to be salt. Salt permeates the culture. It infuses the culture. It changes the culture from the inside out. And light exposes evil. The wages of sin is that is my call to you today. Provoke one another to good works. Ex exhort each other daily. My exhortation to you is to do something about this Holocaust that we have today. We have outdone Nazi Germany by over 30 million deaths. 57 million children to date. Please do something. Have a wonderful evening. Flee from the wrath to come, folks. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is near. Amend your ways. Turn from your wickedness so iniquity will not be your ruin. Repentance towards God.